The legendary New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby always talks to the most talented and the most interesting athletes in New York sports. And this week, Steve caught up with Jets QB2, also former Giants backup Tyrod Taylor. Now, it's time to catch up with Steve on another edition of Sundays with Serby. And I'm really excited this week because look at Steve's attire. He's got on a white blazer. This is the most stylish I have seen Steve on Sundays with Serby. He's been talking about the white blazer. We've been telling Zach Braziller to get a white blazer, but Steve delivered. Steve, how you doing? You look sharp in that blazer. I like the look. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. $199.99 at Men's <laughs> Warehouse. Just got it about two hours ago. Um, 217 with tax, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> This, this gig is costing me money, by the way. I'm losing money. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you're looking good while you're losing the money. So no, no, nothing wrong there. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. I like it. It's fresh, fresh off the rack, fresh on you. I, I like the look, man. You're looking good. Thank you. It's a little out of character for me, but I had to do it because, by the way, it's Tyrod. Everybody says Tyrod. It is Tyrod. Oh. He never, he, but no, he never corrects people when ah. they say Tyrod. Everybody says Tyrod. But it is Tarad. Uh, but he'll forgive you for that. He's a big fan of yours, Dex. Well, um, well you know what? He, I'm glad to he, know he, because now we can adjust and change that. I'm, I'm glad to know that's that. That's right. Yeah. No, no, you don't have to. No, no just be yourself. Tarad yeah. is himself every second, so you should be yourself, which you are. But anyway, he is the best-dressed uh, man in the NFL, in my view. Just check out his Instagram account. Yeah. I mean, I got to... I, got, I haven't asked him yet, but I want to find out where he shops because uh, he is, as we say, fly. He is, <laughs> he is in a league of his own. That... But, um, you know, he grew up in Hampton, Virginia. Yep. He was self-motivated, only child. He watched Allen Iverson and Missy Elliott and Aaron Brooks and Ronald Curry and he saw all these cultural and creative icons come from his hometown. And he said to himself, I, I'd like to make a mark for and in my hometown. And he has certainly done that. He had a high school teacher tell him once to write his dreams on a mirror so he could look at it every day. And he tells me that no dream is too big. And this is his 14th year in the NFL. Good for him. He's met the opportunity, seized the opportunity whenever it has come to him, not as a starter, sometimes as a starter, but look look how fashionable this guy is. I mean, it's just, it, I, I mean, I have to find out where he shops. Um, no, and I he like says, it. Yeah, he, he says it starts with your appearance. So he's able to command a room and command a huddle by just being himself. And uh, that's why his, you know, his teammates respect him. He's a pro's pro, and uh, I think, you know, I remember when I when he was with the Giants a year ago, some of his teammates would used to say would marvel about how how great he smelled. Now I can't vouch for that, but <laughs> but he is very very aware and conscious of his appearance. And like I said, he's the best dressed guy in the NFL as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, from reading your Q&A, I got that sense that, you know, his fashion sense, his confidence, as you just spoke to, seemed to be a significant part of his identity. And, you know, it sounds from what you're saying, too, it's definitely affected his approach to life, his career, his leadership as well, too. So, yeah, he's a very stylish guy. And look, he's had an impact on you. You talk to Tarad and then you uh, end up getting a white blazer. So I feel like he had that impact on you, Steve. It, it Talking to him and watching him in action, it's it was an inspiration to me, yes. Hey, lesson learned here, we can all be inspired and we can all push ourselves to greater things like Steve Servi did here in this week's Sundays with Servi. Steve, got to ask you this also because throughout your conversation with Terod Taylor, he spoke highly of Aaron Rodgers and his leadership and also his personal qualities. How would you describe Taylor's own approach to leadership, especially in the role of backup quarterback where he's been recently in his career? Well, you don't get to play 14 years in the NFL unless you're competitive as hell. And he's also very relaxed, very smooth. And his quote to me was, I've never met a Leo who wasn't a natural leader. So, yeah, he's not a rah-rah guy. His actions speak louder than his words, but he's a pro's pro. 
His teammates respect him. He's confident in who he is. He makes guys around him comfortable. He doesn't try to be someone he isn't, like so many people. Um, and he does the right thing. He always does the right thing. And teammates and coaches have always trusted him. He's what Bill Parcells used to call a hold the fort guy. Now, he can hold the fort for a few games if Aaron Rodgers misses a few games. But, and the Giants wanted him back, by the way, even though Brian Dayball started Tommy DeVito um, after Daniel Jones got hurt. Brian Dable was on hard knock saying, yeah, we'd, we'd love Tyrod, Ty, Tyrod, excuse me, Tyrod, even I do it, Tyrod Taylor back uh, because he's such a pro's pro. But uh, uh, hopefully for the Jets' sake and for his sake, Aaron Rodgers will play at least 14 games this season. And, uh, you know, Tyrod points out that there, this is the only quarterback room that has 34 years of NFL experience in that room, in that Jets room. Um, but he he knows that notices that Aaron Rodgers is hungry after missing last season with all last season with the Achilles, and hungry to prove that he is the right man that the Jets decided would be the guy to lead them out of the desert of despair to break their 13-year playoff drought and maybe, just maybe, their 55-year Super Bowl drought. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, but uh, Tarad marvels at what Rodgers and Garrett Wilson could do together. He says he's never seen a receiver track the ball the way Garrett Wilson can track the ball. And Garrett Wilson also is a guy who can run all day. And watch that. If you're a fantasy football fan, uh, you might want to draft Garrett Wilson. But anyway, uh, Tarad is his cla class act, 14 years, good for him. Hold the fort. He's able to do it if something happens to Aaron Rodgers. And Jets fans should be excited to have a backup quarterback of his caliber at QB2 this season. Really good Q&A with Tarad Taylor and Steve Serby. Check that out. He inspired Steve Serby to go get that white blazer. So if Steve Serby can do it and look fresh, you can do it too. Or fly, as Steve said, which is a word I never thought I would hear come out of his mouth, but I did. <laughs> Steve, it's a really good Q&A. I, I love the white blazer. I have to see you in it again, but I will see you next week. Thank you, sir. And you may see this on me again next week as well. Hey, I wouldn't be mad at that. Wouldn't be mad at that at all. And we can all thank Tarad. We can thank, thank Tarad. Tarad. Putting me $217 in the hole. <laughs> Thanks, Tarad. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Appreciate it.